It's only a day's job. Yeah, it's only a day's job. If I say make I think I'm as it in my head, heaven knows I'ma cry you a river. If I talk I'm as it in my mouth, she and me one day ask God why the life you lead, your legacies will always be. Yeah, the love you show, the hope you give will surely meet. I do feel like the end just cheat us so Cause you day with them and not with us so But it's alright, we go still in couple. When the role is called up yonder, I call good love. But the show must go on. We know you're in a better place, champ. But we'll never be this song. Salah, 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 salah. Salah, 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 salah. Sore o dollar, only one babadi. A father, a friend, a body too many. Babadi lives on. Where smoke they blow, go man no no. Man for send them, make them tell you see. We miss you, die, no be lie. If 
I say make I think I'm I see they my head Heaven knows I'm a cry you river If I talk I'm I see they my mouth She and me one day ask God why Like you leave your legacies will always be Yeah The love you show the hope you give will surely miss I did feel like the end just cheat us so cause you deal with them and not with us so but it's all right we go still link up oh. when the role is gone love yonder i call on love but the show must go on we know you're in a better place champ but we'll never did this song sala 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 Sala, 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 Miss you die, no be like you. I didn't feel like the angels cheat us too. But you deal with them and not with us too. But it's alright, we go still link up. Oh. When the role is gone, love yonder. I call go love. But the show must go on. We know you're in a better place, champ. But we'll never did leave some. Sala, sala. Sala, sala, sala Sala, sala 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 Sala, sala, sala Make I think I'm I see they my head. Heaven knows I'm a cry you a river. If I talk, I'm I see they my mouth. She and me one day ask God why. The life you live, your legacies will always be. Yeah. The love you show, the hope you give will surely miss. I did feel like the end just cheat us so. Cause you deal with them and not with us so. But it's alright, we go still in couple. When the role is gone, love yonder, I call on love. But the show must go on. We know you're in a better place, champ. Bo bo ba ba di di song. Sala sala, sala sala sala, sala sala, sala 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 ba di di song. Sala sala, sala sala sala. Sala, sala, Only one Babadi. A father, a friend, and Badi too many. Babadi lives on. Where smoke them, logo man, no, no. Man for send them, make them tell you see. We 
miss you, die, no be lie, yo. I didn't feel like the end just cheat us so Cause you there with them and not with us so But it's alright we go still link up oh. When the role is gone up yonder I call go love But the show must go on We know you're in a better place champ Go 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 but the deep song Sala 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 It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn. All the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place Ah. Uh. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. You both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost sun isn't quite as high. the birds don't sing as sweet of a lullaby the stars seem a little bit faded Clouds just a little more gray And it feels like things won't ever be the same Heaven got another angel tonight Left this world behind Heaven got a little better the day He took you away from me I'm missing you Heaven isn't all that far Heaven got 
got another angel tonight. You left this world behind. Heaven got a little better today. It took you away from me. I'm missing you But you're not cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories, bring back your There's a time that I remember when I did not know no pain. When I believed in forever, and everything would stay the same. Now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Gonna raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got 
Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your Sun isn't quite as sun. Birds don't sing as sweet of a lullaby. The stars seem a little bit faded. The clouds just a little more gray. And it feels like things won't ever be the same. Heaven got another angel of the night. You left this world behind. Got a little better the day It took you away from me I'm missing you Thank you very much for making it. You 
can see my shirt. This is a rise. It's only the day's job. Yeah. It's only the day's job. If I say make I think I'm we need to stay up. We need to get free. Recently I was I was in England for a series of medical checkups. And in all the hospitals I went in England, guess what they told me when I was leaving? Whatever you do, make sure you need food. Yeah. The love you show, the hope you give, we surely need it. I didn't feel like the end just cheat us so Cause you did with them and not with us so But it's alright, we go still link up oh. When the roll is gone up yonder I call good love But the show must go on We know you're in a better place, champ Go 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 Sala, 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 sala Sala, sala It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you All the planes we flew, good things we've been through That I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different See the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place uh, How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend Jesus, he came 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon and welcome to this service of songs in honor and celebration of the life of our friend, our brother, a husband, a father, a brother, a soldier of Christ. We're here today to celebrate life because we celebrate. We do not sorrow as those who have no hope because we know confidently that our brother has run his race. He has fought the good fight of faith. He has kept the faith. He finished his race well. Shall we all please rise as the choir leads us in the opening prayer. lead us in songs and praise. Let's remain standing for a few minutes.
comfort, Alpha and Omega, our hope, our strength, our shield. You are faithful and you are good all the time. We worship you, we give you all the glory. We thank you for your presence in this place. Let your power and your glory be manifest today in all that shall be done here. Let your name alone be glorified. For it's in Jesus' precious name we have worshipped. Amen. Before you sit down, um, we'll take our hymn. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ, my righteousness. Indeed, Jesus is the solid rock, unshakable, unbreakable. The same yesterday, today, and forever. The hymn is on page three of our programs.
Amen. Please be seated. Our first Bible reading this afternoon will be taken from Romans 8, verses 28 to 39. Please welcome to take this lesson, Ayoade Bangwe. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but deliver, delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died, rather that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Jeez. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 28-39. Thank you. Let's appreciate Ayoade Bangwe dollars to water. Whenever we are overwhelmed with what life throws at us, we're unsure about how to deal with challenges. We know that there is one we can always turn to, one who hears, one who listens, one, one who hearkens to our every cry. Jesus is the one we can tell all our troubles. Now, please welcome to take a special song, I Must Tell Jesus, Ebo. <laughs> I cannot bear this. 
Hallelujah. Our friend Dollar was a phenomenon. A friend, a brother, so many different things. So as many of us are gathered here today. And to give the first of our tributes this afternoon, uh, I'd like to welcome Professor Yakubo Echefu. Please make him welcome. Okay, I'm not sure he's here yet, um, but he's not here. Okay, so I'll call Jibola Afolabi to give his tribute. Hallelujah. Can you all please join me in this song before I give my tribute to our dear brother and friend? Can you help me? The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. There are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Sorry, this is a bit too short for me. That's probably why I'm not. Right. I'm going to read through this. If there's any strength left in me, then I'll say one or two things. If there's not, forgive me. I put this down and it goes, this hurts. It hurts real deep, but I have to submit to the will of God. Of all the jokes and pranks you were noted for, this is no joke and it sure isn't funny. Okundola, you were one of a kind. In the over four decades that we were both brothers, reliable and dependable. My friends were your friends and my enemies were your enemies. And where I intended to stop the fight, you took it a step further. You were indeed a brother from another mother. Good thing my mother passed away a few months before you, as I cannot imagine how devastated she would have been. We went through it all together, the good and the bad times. You were wonderful at uplifting my spirit. Nothing bothered you for long. Your spirit was too vibrant and your heart very pure. You traversed the earth, and indeed you saw it all. You, the kings and the servants, you are ever so kind to all. You lit up everywhere you entered. No mountain was too high for you to climb. You were such a legend. When I made my way to your home in the morning of Saturday, the 10th of October, I was sure I will call your name or hit you and you would rise. No, you didn't. You were here for a season and your assignment was complete. You lived 90 years and 58 years. And unlike your normal self, you left quietly. I now stand convinced that legends only come for a brief moment. You turned up suddenly at my home three weeks ago in the evening, and we chatted into the night. Little did I know you came to bid me farewell. 
Then he started sending me old photographs of both of us from as far back as 1981. And I kept asking you where you got them from and why you were sending them. Now I know you knew your ship was about to set sail. You had discharged your cargo and you were destined for the port called Evan. Agbu, to say that I will miss you is an understatement. You were always there for me. Sorry, forgive me for a second. I lost track here. I don't do this often. You were always you were always there for me. Thank you for always counting my counsel worthy. You always listened and complied to the extent that you were able to because you were simply who you are, a true legend. You said that much during your last visit to my home. Thank you for making a conscious effort to know Christ and serve him the way you did. This gives me a lot of comfort and confidence as to where you are now. Evan must be a gog, and I can imagine your dance steps, the million dollar man. Okudola, as we put you in the ambulance and headed for the morgue, I made you a promise. And as God leaves, I will not fail. Bikubagbo, Abafulo, Bikubagbasho, Muni Sonyo, Mula Larinde, Ikubo, Ikubasho, Eni Rilomulo, Okudala, Agbola, Bangboye. May God rest your soul. Forgive me, but um, it's with a very, very uh, heavy heart that I'm here. Um, to be honest with you, I never even thought I could read through this because um, Dola was one of the closest people to me in life. When I look back at the moments, I shared with him. Trying times and good times. But nothing ever bothered him. We could be in the deepest valley and he'll remain smiling and he'll calm you down. And before he fully committed himself to Christ. There were signs that indeed he was a man of God. Very protective of those he loved. And one experience I will always remember. We were in Zaria together when the Metasine riot started. And we were going back to our hostel. This was about one or two o'clock in the morning. And we were attacked, just Dollar and myself, very dark, going through a uh, department of zoology. And uh, these guys appeared from nowhere. And I said to, myself, to Dollar, I said, Dollar, we need to run. It was slim, tall, in fact, skinny. Let me put it that way. Before I knew what was happening, Dollar had disappeared. So I was left in between three Metasini guys. And I thought to myself, at least Dollar has gone. Let's one person go down rather than both of us. And I looked up and I saw Dollar running back towards me. And I was like, is this guy all right? And in that moment, the guys turned around when they realized somebody was coming. And of course, there was a gap in between the three of them. 
So in between, before they turned around again, I took off and followed Dollar. And when we got to the room, I said, Bobo, are you Queenie? I thought you had gone. Why did you come back? He said, Jibo, do you really think I will leave you to three men? I said, well, I just wanted to make sure that at least there'll be someone to go and tell them at home, not that both of us will be down. He said, it's better for both of us to go down. That was dollar. I will never forget him. I will never, ever. To me, he was a legend. To me, on earth, he was about the greatest guy. May God rest his soul. May God comfort Oche, Bidemi, Ayade, and Ayadola. Thank you so much. Once again, let's appreciate Jibola Afolabi. To give a very special tribute to Dola this uh, afternoon, please join me in welcoming uh, the Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila, Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Please make him welcome as he comes. Everyone, I had no intention whatsoever. I didn't even have any inkling that I was going to be saying something here this afternoon on this very solemn occasion. Uh, it took me a little while to to accept to come up here to speak, not because of anything, but because I'm overtaken by grief. And I didn't want a situation where I would break down here in front of everybody, particularly in front of Oche, Bidemi, and the rest of the family. But I think I'll be doing a great disservice to my friend if I walked out of here without saying a word or two. I've lost a few friends over the years. I've lost friends even this year. But this one particularly hurts. So rather than speak of the cop, I'll just read my very small tribute, which I've already sent in to the family. Dollar, as we all fondly called him, meant different things to different people. He, however, meant one thing to everyone. A friend. I'm not sure how many people have the capacity to meet one for the first time and make an impression immediately. He had that going for him. Dollar loved life. His zest and zeal were legendary. His love for music and dancing cannot be challenged or surpassed by any one of his peers. Dollar was the MC at all my mother's gigs, including just this March in Dubai, when my mother turned 90. On all occasions, he performed like he was celebrating his biological mother. Needless to say, my mother is deeply saddened this gentle giant would go the extra mile for you. He was extremely respectful to me. Save for one day, many years ago, 
So this is a little anecdote that tells you about who this guy was. Now what happened that day? I was walking out of a lounge. It was very late. And as I, was, as I approached my car, my car, my phone rang. It was late. I was trying to get home. My phone was on the blink. The battery was about to die. And I don't like going around with a dead phone. So my phone rang and I looked at my phone and it was a dollar. I was extremely tired and decided I would call him later, perhaps when I got home. Lo and behold, dollar was behind me. And, and as soon as I got home, he had sent me a very caustic message from the very heart as to how he saw me look at my phone and I ignored him. He was very hurt. There was nothing I could say. I explained to him what had happened and I was surprised. The next time I saw him, he was even nicer than ever before. He had forgotten the incident. My last communication with my friend was the Sunday before his death. All he wanted was a favor for his wife and not for himself. What a great guy. My wife who has known Mrs. Dollar, as I call her, Oche, for years, told me how Oche said to her that Dollar and her had never gone 48 hours whatever part of the world, wherever he may be, they have not gone 48 hours without speaking. He was indeed an amazing husband and father. He was fond of my daughter, who was friends with his son, and always asked after her. And even in his last message to me, he said, how is Zena? Needless to say, Zena is beside herself, and has cried and cried. Dollar, sleep well. You lived a very good life, and may your soul forever rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Once again, let's appreciate the right honorable Febi Bajambe Amila speaker of the house of representatives next we'll take a special tribute uh, from paul Bag bragman who uh, would have loved to be here today indeed he came over to nigeria to be part of the ceremonies but because of the events of last week uh, he couldn't uh, stay that long and he has had to return so please uh, watch this tribute from paul bagman my lovely friend dollar was a special man and it's impossible to describe how important he's been in my life. I know he touched many of your lives as well. And over the last week, the messages and the sentiments posted on social media really shows how many lives he touched in so many different ways. And I was fortunate to be one of those people whose lives he really touched. We made an unusual pair, me and Dollar. <laughs> And we came from very different backgrounds, but we had a shared interest in people and the world, and we really valued that in each other. We met at Middlesex University in the 80s and went on to Nottingham University, Kenya, Tanzania, Tottenham, and beyond. I was best man at his wedding in Nigeria, and he was MC at my wedding in London. Our friendship was full of fun, respect, and love, but we also learned a lot from each other. Dolo was a showman. He was the show, but he also had a deeper side, the deeper side that was perhaps quite private. While he liked the fun aspects of life, he had depth. He mastered the art of people, he was able to engage absolutely anyone. We all know that. Many of the posts that I've read over the last week 
talked about how he did this within the Nigerian community. But he did this far beyond the Nigerian community. He was a listener. He made people that he speak with and people that he came into contact with feel really special, whoever it was. At my wedding, it was the Jewish grandmas. On the street, it was the homeless guy. His starting point was always to be open to people, situations, places and experiences. He loved traveling and what he seemed to like most was the people and the characters he met along the way. Dollar had a presence. He had a strong sense of identity of who he was and people always remembered him warmly with a smile. He was curious about things. He had a real sense of being, not only of being caring and kind, but he also had a consideration of humanity, often struggling to understand why there was injustices in the world. He always engaged with people with a mixture of inquisitiveness, humor, playfulness, and his famous dollar giggle. One example of how he was amazing with people was when we traveled in Kenya and we were students and we didn't have much money. We were getting on a 12 hour bus journey and we got on the bus and we realized we'd left all our money and our passports hidden behind a brick in the room we stayed in the night before. The bus was full of people and was just about to leave. And Dola managed to befriend the bus driver who then took a detour full of people to the hotel with all the passengers, which pulled up outside the hotel we'd been staying at. And he told me to run in and get the passports and the money. And that's how we worked as a team. He held the bus up and I got the money. He had these buzzwords that weren't really funny, but he made them funny, like funky like a chicken or the show must go on. He could adapt and level with anyone because he had a genuine curiosity in people. He was trying to fathom out. He was interested, trying to understand. He wanted to make sense of the world and make sense of people. I shared a flat with him in Tottenham. There was always people in the flat. I'd wake up in the morning and there'd be someone different staying, there'd just be someone different staying there who, was, who, who he was helping out. He was concerned about Nigeria and the politics and he had a sense of social justice. He was proud of being Nigerian and wanted Nigeria to have a good reputation in the world. He would ask me about the Holocaust, trying to understand why it happened. He was compassionate and he had faith in people. He had a strong sense of identity. And through that, he taught me how to appreciate my own identity. I and mean, who would have thought it would have taken a West African Nigerian to teach a Jewish boy about his own identity? He was a man of faith and he had faith in people and the world. He wasn't materialistic, but he did like nice stuff. It wasn't his driver, because he knew that ultimately it wasn't important. Whatever he had, he shared, and he was generous to the core. He's left this world too soon, and his, his death is a loss to his family, friends, and the world. He leaves a legacy behind with Oche, Bidi, Ayo Ade, Ayo Dola, his wider family and friends. But his legacy lives through all of us in terms of how we should be in the world. How lucky and privileged to have known him and had him in our lives as a husband, a father, a friend. I will always remember you, Dola, with love, and a smile. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Paul Bradman. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchased of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Our next hymn is on page five of our programs. We shall sing seated.
The Bible says that our times are in God's hands, and indeed weeping can only endure for a night. Joy will certainly come in the morning. And as Christians, we must believe that God is on his throne and is in control of our lives. And the next song from the choir, my life is in your hands. Oh, there's a friend in Jesus. 
All you gotta do is let your hands Just and let your hands and say Bible reading this afternoon will be taken from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 50 to 58. Please welcome to take this lesson, Ayodola Bangwe. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when, when this corruptible sh shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth, uh, giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, 
my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Further as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. That's up. We're going to our next segment of tributes and um, I mean, Sylvester to give a short tribute to our friend Dollar. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a pleasure to have all of you here. Um, a lot have been said about dollar. And uh, I don't know where to begin and where to end, but I'll say a few short things. Uh, I've known dollar since when I was 13 years old. We've been friends, close friends since that time. Um, he's been part of every milestone in my life. I mean, I, uh, there's so many things I could say that I want to say, but it's difficult, difficult. And uh, so I'll just say something brief since we have a time limit. Dollars is a wonderful guy. I am fortunate enough to have experienced a wonderful relationship with a human being. A lot of us don't get to do that. He was my brother, my confidant. There are a lot of things, we share a lot of secrets. Majority of you guys you know who Dollar is. You've known us together. And uh, I'm, it's a privilege to have been a friend of his. They, we all started very young. We thought we owned the world, you know? I mean, we did so many things. Uh, people like Liki Adifala, Kola Lagwada, Colin Sapakunam, majority of them. A few of us, Rutimi or Tangu, we all Jidefa Jemisi, we all hung together from Lagos to London, from London to Los Angeles, and back to Nigeria. When we were young, the first time, you know, in those days, all of us, we want to run away from the house. Our parents are very strict. Myself and Dollar ran to London when we ran away from the house. And when I got there, I was able to register for school. Um, but Dollar had to come back because they made his father Minister of Education. And uh, when I came back, my parents used to call me Mr. Bintu. And uh, has always been part of my family. Sick. He didn't want to tell me. But the only thing he would tell me that is, JJ, there's no need for you to come home. Stay. Could you believe that dollar will leave MTN from Falomo and go to, to loot every night after he closes? Himself and my sister, Silveria, she's here. We'd be by my mother's side till she left the hospital. That was how our friendship was. He was even there when my son was born. We were both in the delivery, in the observation room together. 
that's how close we were. And uh, I'm so happy that uh, we, we, we could be able to celebrate him today with everybody. Majority of the people here, Dollar knows. Dollars has affected one way or the other. And uh, I want to thank you very much for upholding who Dollar is. And from the bottom of my heart, I pray that he's sitting with the Lord, making him, the Lord, laugh. Because Dollar is a natural comedian. Everything about him is about comedy. And he holds no grudges to nobody. He would be the first one to come and apologize to you. You know, I miss him so much. It's always difficult for me in the mornings. You know, but I'm glad uh, we're able to send him off. And he has such wonderful family. I remember the first time I met her when she moved to Los Angeles. And when the twins and BDMU were born, he was so happy. We were so happy. You know, uh, may soul rest in peace, internal peace. And also, his brothers, his mom, wonderful mother, she treated us like we were Dollar himself. She treated us exceptionally. Every one of them, uh, Bob Faye, Bola, Bemi, all of them, it was like a family. And we will remain a family. Thank you very much. And may the Lord continue to give us the wisdom and understanding in all our endeavors. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Sylvester Ijewere. Because we're trying to take as many testimonies as possible, uh, please let's try and compress our comments to two minutes. Two minutes. Please join me in welcoming Richard Iweanoge. And after that, we'll take a tribute from Lafrique Aite. Okay, I'll be reading these tributes on behalf of the management and staff of MTN, um, but as I rather call them, um, Dollars Yellow Family, a family that has been privileged the last 20 years um, to have known Dollar. On behalf of the management and staff of MTN Nigeria Communications, we write to commiserate with you, the entire Bangboye family, on the loss of your husband, father, friend, colleague, Okundola Bamboye. Okundola, fondly called Dola, was a seasoned, sponsorship, multi-skilled in stakeholder management across different cadres within and outside the organization. This played out in how he leveraged his extended network, really extended network, with top government officials, community leaders, influential Nigerians, to resolve business challenges in MTN's favor, and executed planned projects as such. Dollar was the main anchor for everything people know MTN for. Project fame, who wants to be a millionaire? The English Premiership League sponsorship we did. The MTN Football Academy, MTN Reef portfolios, Tech Plus, the polo and golf tournaments we used to do, the Arsenal partnership we did, as well as our leadership seminars and our This Is Niger program. Dola was involved and was the main anchor for a lot of those things MTN did, for which MTN is now known for. <laughs> Dollar was a true inspiration and a great support to our organization. He had a great attitude to work, 
always, always cheerful. And he was good at fostering comradeship amongst the staff. He captured our hearts during his time in MTN and his memory will always remain with us. He'll be fondly remembered for his charisma, his optimism, his humility, his impressive stakeholder management skills, and everything he did for MTN in the last 20 years. We join your family to pray for the repose of his soul and pray that God grants you, the children and the entire family, the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. This is signed by Esther Akinukawe, our Chief Human Resource Officer. On a personal note, I would like to say, if anyone, if anyone personified MTN, both internally within MTN and externally outside MTN, without a doubt, that person was Dolan. And I believe, I believe the Yellow family here with today and those watching will agree with me when I say the eighth floor of the Golden Plaza building, in fact, the entire Golden Plaza building will be a little less bright a little less colorful, and a little less happy place to walk. Farewell, Dollar. Fare thee well. Thank you very much. Thank you, MTN family. Please welcome to take the last tribute for this segment, Val Anosia. Good afternoon, all. Uh, I wasn't quite ready for this. Um, where do I start from? Okay, unlike most people, because I've been hearing a lot of people have been saying they've known Dollar for over 45 years. I have not known him for over 45 years. Um, I'm not even up to 45 years myself. Um, I met Dollar about 22 years ago. Um, something so apart from the instant connection we had, Dollar was the black one, and it used to be a lot, maybe just to um, offend people. The labu was enough to how about the twins in one leg and um, the other twins in the other leg and even space for Bidemi himself. But I saw something very simple about the gentleman. It was all about simplicity, all about humility, all about love, all about peace. Um, for those of us that know, you know, the, the um, nine fruits of the Holy Spirit, every one of them, dollar ticked the box. Um, so we went on this trip to Norwich about 23 years ago, 22 years ago, I think. And in this trip, we all laid it bare. I think Dollar was the first, very, very first person to speak. And he spoke about his pain and his experiences, you know, all the juvenile delinquencies, and everybody else followed. We all cried that day. Big men crying, begging God for forgiveness. I shared my own story, and um, later, Dola and I hooked up, and I think that was a starting point in our very strong relationship, not as friend, because again, Dola is somebody, you know, that part of the Bible that says there's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. That's Dola. When I heard the news, I was distraught. I, I simply told the gentleman um, that called me, I said, it is not true. Dollar can't die. It is not true. In fact, I didn't even want to use the word die. I said, okay, 
He said, is anybody you can confirm from? I said, we have a large family together, very large family. There are too many people to confirm from. So I called some other guy, um, Tunde Obileye. And um, when it was confirmed, my main worry was how to meet Oche. Because again, we had a strong family friendship. I knew all the children, Dola knew my children. Um, on my way to see Oche at Jaconde, because I was coming from that side of town, I started crying. I said, you know what, this is a good idea. Let me just cry so that by the time I get to Oche, all the tears will be completely, I won't have any more tears to, to shed. And I thought that would work. But Oche saw me and broke down and um, Oche, I don't know if you saw if there was any tear, but I mean, there was a lot, there was some pepper that touched my eye. I, I wouldn't cry. I'm a, I'm a macho man. I didn't cry. <sighs> Dollar is such a peaceful man that honestly, if you've had any problem with him, you need to check yourself. And I checked myself one day and I'll tell you what happened. On my 50th birthday, Dollar and I had sat down and planned the whole birthday. The dress code, people to invite and everything. And Dola was the very first person to arrive on my birthday. And I saw him wearing a dashiki and on jeans. So I said, okay, Dola, well done. So I'm sure you have your, your, your clothes in the car to change. He said, no, this is it, oh. I said, no, you can't, you can't do this, Dola. Dashiki. We said people should wear um, jacket, no tie. And you're wearing dashiki, you're the MC. You're the one that is the MC of the occasion. You should lead by example. So Dollar said, do you know how much I bought this Danshiki? I bought this Danshiki, 200 pounds in Accra, as if that was supposed to make me feel good, you know? So we started driving, went to go and meet um, Pastor Tony Rappu, my pastor for prayers. Dollar just let me. So in the car, I complained again. I said, Dollar, you can't do this now. He said, you know, Val, you know what, eh? If this will um, please you, take me to my house. Let me go and change and wear a jacket. Then I said, no, 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 that's okay. You know, because I, I, I saw somebody that had, that showed love. He was ready to, to give, to make the other person happy, you know? And again, I, I, I realized that he was like, wearing that dance. Shiki. He was actually, is a Salakoti. It's a Salakoti, as you remember. Called. So um, I was honored, you know? And um, I'll, I'll be true now, yeah. Okay, um, Dollar and I um, co-founded um, an event that we do every year called the Senior Lit. Um, we started as a joke, you know, but I can tell you that it was until Jordan, Jordan gave his endorsement that we, we moved ahead with it. And um, the last time we spoke about it, he was so proud. He actually said something very funny. He said, Val, look at like a joke, what we started and look at how it's, um, it's going to go ahead and, um, you know, maybe I'll leave us. Um, Dollar, my, my good friend. Like you say, the show must go on. And maybe some of you don't know, he also says, and the bid goes on. But I have a question for you, Dollar. How does the show and the bid go on without you? You had the bid. Uh. Oche, God will be your husband. You have numerous family around. You know we love you. Dollar never stops speaking about you. Bidemi, are you a day? Are you a dollar? Are you a dollar? You remember the message I sent to you, and I put are you the dollar sign. So please continue with that. Dollar has trademarked that name. Are you a dollar? That trademark, you know, dollar sign. Um, I just want to thank everybody for all the support. And um, on behalf of the new, uh, my, my family and the New Life Assembly, um, London, Ireland, and Belgium, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Val and Nausea. So when my latest breath breaks through the veil of pain. By death, I shall escape from death and life eternal gain. That resurrection word, that shout of victory, once more, forever with the Lord. Amen.
so let it be. Our next hymn is on page six. Shall we all please rise? <laughs> be seated. Life may present us with different challenges and there are some things we may not know, some things we may not understand. But then when we see God, we know that he is real and we know that he would always lift us up and see us through. He indeed is the glory and the lift up of our heads. We'll take two songs from God is real and you raise me up. It's real. 
Next sec segment of tributes, we'll take the first one, uh, video tributes from Professor Yakubu Ochefu, who couldn't be here today. My name is Yakubu Aboke Ochefu, and on behalf of the Ochefu family of Mwabuju community, you know, Boju district of Utupo local government, Benue states, I hereby commiserate with our in-laws, the Bangwe family of Ushiekiti, on the demise of our brother-in-law, our friend, and our confidant on the, on, his, on the demise of Mr. Okundola Abola Bangwe. Dola, as we all know him, was an exceptional individual 
It was many things to many people. It was dollar, my dollar to our mother, Madam Mami Ochefu. It was a trusted confidence to his daughters and to his son. They were always in competition for the love of our sister, Oche. Dollar lived a good life. He lived a purposeful life. He was generous to the fault. He liked to take on social causes and make his presence felt everywhere he went. We will miss him, no doubt, but we know that he has moved on to a place in paradise where we all hope that he'll be joined. For us, it's a bit tragic as he died three days following the death of his friend and elder brother and co-in-law, Mr. Tony Ebu. For our family, the loss of two brother-in-laws within 72 hours was extremely difficult. But in all things, we give thanks to God for as he wills it, it happens. We will remember Dollar for the life he lived on earth here. A wise man once said that when death smiles at you, the only thing you can do is to smile back. So we will smile and remember Dollar for who he was while on earth here. Ochenehi, Queen Kumwaba, Adogu, Blaudo, Umma, Okoye, Okwaloye, Obo Lakunu Yae, Oye, Olalo Alechemene, Umma, Okoye. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Thank you very much, Professor Chefu. Uh, please join me in giving a special welcome to give a special tribute this afternoon, the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Bamidele Abiolum. Please make her welcome as she comes. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's um, always difficult to do a tribute. Sorry. It's always difficult to do a tribute. I, um, I've known Oche for many years. Um, I was in university when she came to my university to do her second degree. And Dola, I... Um, met in Lagos around, I can't say when I met him, but I mean, as is with his personality, he's someone that you cannot but notice. Um, and um, I became really endeared to him when um, tragically um, we lost our son three years ago. Um, his children uh, apparently were good friends with uh, Bemiga. And um, I think they must have told their dad to, uh, to um, represent them because they were not in the country when it happened. And um, I mean, he wasn't a personal friend, even though I knew Oche very well from university. But Dola would come to our house every day and he would, he would, and he would sit with us, and would, he would hold my hands, he would hold my shoulders, and he would look in my eyes. I remember the day that um, a service was held for Bimiga in London. And the younger children had arranged for 
of Father's service to hold. I, he sat down with me on, on the carpet from the beginning to the end. He was absolutely wonderful. Things happen and we don't know why. I'm so sorry, Oche, I'm sorry. God will be with you and comfort you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Once again, let's appreciate Her Excellency. Mrs. Bamidele Abiodu. Next, to give a special tribute to Dola, please welcome the senior pastor of the Trinity House Churches, Pastor Itwa Igodalo. Ladies and gentlemen, let me thank you all, especially Pastor Ido and the City of David and all those who put this together. It's really extraordinary. And I really, really want to thank you all for putting this together for a truly great man I also want to thank everyone who has taken time and trouble this very eventful period in Nigeria's history to be here to acknowledge greatness. It's important that we acknowledge greatness when we see it. So I'd like us to give a standing ovation to Dollar, even at this time. Let's just put our hands together and really bless the name of the Lord for a truly great man. Come on, put your hands together. Let them hear in heaven that we're thanking God. Let the, let the devil hear and let him be mad that we are actually thanking God for true greatness. 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 Amen. Please be seated. I don't know when I met Dollar, but he was one of those people that you meet along the streets of life. And one thing about Dollar was that he was extremely polite, extremely humble. With me, he was so humble that I thought I was much older than he was only to discover that it's just a year or a year and a half that separates us, even though I'm a little bit older. So I want to thank Dollar for his love, for his friendship, for his large heartedness, and for being a truly great person. The last time Dollar and I communicated was about three or four weeks ago, and it had to do with my wife's foundation. And somebody had been harassing me and making life a little bit uncomfortable for me using a strange number. I thought it was an MTN number. So I sent a message to Dollar and I said, Dollar, please check this number out for me and advise me what to do. And he sent back his findings and his advice with that dollar sign. He says, well, don't worry, everything's going to be all right. And I know that everything is all right. But it is really Oche that's my family. A lot of people do not know that Oche and I are family. I met the Ochefu family, must have been around 1988 or 89. It was actually Tiki Oga reminding me that I went to Joss either to look for a girl, as I used to, or to look for a job, as I always did. I don't know why I went to Joss, but I met Hassan who became my brother. I was stranded at the airport and Hassan took me back home to their house in Joss. 
And I spent the night there, apparently. And from then till now, the Ochefus and I have been family. So in fact, Hassan's bachelor's eve, he held in my house in Jibo Street among about a million bachelor's eves in those days. My word for you, Oche, is that it shall be well with you. The Lord that strengthened me will strengthen you. And you know, Oche, that I know how you feel. I know how you feel because I have walked this path. But one thing I can assure you, that dollar has not left. His soul, his spirit, his being, his essence is still here. After my wife died and we buried her, on our way back home, my son brought a balloon and I took my children to my room and I hugged them. And as I hugged my children, my son left the balloon and the balloon flew into the ceiling. And my little son, two and a half years old at the time, said, Daddy, balloon flew away and my heart broke. And the balloon went there into the ceiling and it remained there. And it was like Ibiduni was looking down on us and saying to us, I'm still here. I want to assure you that Dollar is looking down on you and saying to you, I'm still here. On the 19th of July, it was Ibiduni's birthday. And we did a little remembrance for her on her birthday. She was going to be 40. And after that occasion, as I went back to my room, the balloon that had stuck in the sky for the last 21 days suddenly had come down and was right there by my bedside. Ibiduni was saying to me, I'm still here with you. Okundola is saying to you, I am still here with you. Paul speaking to the Philippians said, for me to live is Christ, but to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, that's the fruit of my labor. For I'm between two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Oche, to be with Christ is far better. A lot of people said many things to me a few months ago. Oh, you're long. Kagba, for long. Olong, lomo, go, go, go. Somebody said to me, by the time you get to heaven, you will understand. But then I said to them, by the time I get to heaven, I will know all things and I will not need to understand. Very soon, Oche, you will know all things. But there's a good side to death. And one of the good signs to death is that for most of us, in spite of everything, we really never know when it will happen. And that moment of death is so quick, so fast, so painless that it is indeed a moment of grace. Ibiduni spoke to me at 9 p.m. She died at 1.30. Dola was alive the night before. He died in his sleep because God took them away from pain. God will take all of us away from pain. And I want to assure you that he shall be well with you. Death is ultimately not such a bad thing. It's the only known entrance to eternity. It shall be well with you. But you take heart. My children, for you are now my children. Be they me. Are you a day? Are you a dollar? It shall be well with you. The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will be with you. 
The Lord will guide and protect you. And the Lord will do for you what your father could never do. One of the things that comforted me the most was a lady who came to my house and said, for those who don't speak Yoruba, she says, everything in your heart, tell it to God. Tell it to God. Tell it to God. Because he will hear you. And he will comfort you. And he will strengthen you. We will come, we will go. The nights will be long, 4 a.m. I never slept, even till today. But God will give you sleep. God will give you comfort. God will give you strength. The dead never leave unless you push them away. Don't push the lie away. Always create a valuable space for him within our hearts and in our minds. Oche, my sister, Hassan, and the Ochefu family, it is well, in Jesus' name. Let's appreciate once again, Pastor Itwa Ligodalo, Senior Pastor of the Trinity House Church. God has said in his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He has said in his word, I am with you always. And so to Oche, to Bidemi, to Ayoade, to Ayodola, we say, God will take care of you. The next song, please welcome Sophie.
taken from Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 to 17. Please welcome to take this Bible reading, Bidemi Bangwe. Revelation 7, 9 to 17. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and crowd with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood around, about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might, might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, which are these which are arrayed in white robes and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he sitteth on the throne, shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more neither thirst any more, neither shall the sunlight on them nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the, of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Thank you. Thank you, Bidemi. To read the biography of our brother, Dollar Bangwe, please welcome Bemi Arewa Fidelis. I met my brother Okundola. I read about Solomon. The Bible says he's the wisest man that ever lived. Oh wow, really? I think Dola was. I think he was the wisest. Heavenly Father, I blow you kisses. Kisses, 
o'clock. Kisses because you gave us the best. You gave Phoebean, Agbola, Claudius Agbola, Phoebean and Claudius Agbola. You gave them the best. The last time I stepped into Federal Palace Hotel, Lord, was when my father was a minister. I didn't know you were going to bring me back again. <laughs> it could only have been dollar. Father, I blow you kisses. I love you. You gave us the best. I didn't know one time, Lord. Had I known, maybe I would have called him again to say, me Nandal, I love you so, so much, like I usually do. But Heavenly Father, promise me, promise me something, that everyone seated here will make heaven. I pray that everyone who's yet to give their life to Christ would accept you because you're a good God. You're a sweet God. I mean, Dollar's Testament, it's a confirmation that there is a living God. There is a beautiful God. There is a God who's so humble. There's a God who's forgiven. Because Dollar was very, very humble. Ha! No wonder. I think Dollar remembered the scriptures in Proverbs 23, 4. He says, do not labor to be rich. <laughs> and he said, don't even cease, cease from your own understanding. Which means that, malo ye, malo ye, malo that was dollar. I don't even know if he has a million in his account as a naira. I'm not sure. <laughs> because half of it he gives to the poor. <sighs> Lord, thank you for giving us dollar. If I'm to write a book about dollar, <laughs> I think I'll title it The Love of God in Dollar. Hashtag the love of God in dollar. Lord, I love you so much. <laughs> I pray that when my own work on earth is done, along with my sisters and brothers here, that we would see dollar face to face. And above all, that we will see you, Lord, the author and finisher of Million Dollar. Thank you, Lord. I just blow you kisses again. Thank you, Father. Everybody, thank you so so much for coming. Really grateful. My name is Bemisola Abedo. The third born, the no, the fourth born. Dola was the third, and I'm the fourth. And I'm gonna read about my brother, the biography of my brother. What a man, what a life. Mr. Okundola Gbola Bangwe, aka Botfe Jr., aka Babadi, aka Dollar. I call him Million Dollar, and countless other nicknames and terms of endearment he amassed over the years. Dollar was born in Leicester City, which he dutifully reminded his wife and children <laughs> at every chance he could get, 1301, 62. He would state emphatically as if they could ever forget his birthday. Even if they wanted to, his parents lived chief. Claudia Zagbola and late Mrs. Fibian Bangwe were both indigenous of Ushiekiti. But they somehow found themselves in the windy city of Leicester, bringing Okundola into the world, the man we'd all later to know and love. After four years in England, he was brought back home to start nursery school at Sisi or Basade Nursery School, I didn't even know that, and later at Ladilak Primary in Yaba. He had a boisterous childhood with his siblings, Benisola, Bola Mole, and Faye the eldest. His secondary school years were spent between African Church Grammar School and CMS Grammar School. He went off to the Federal School of Arts and Science and one year later, School of Basic Studies at Madribele University. There he met Oche, beautiful Oche, beautiful Oche. I couldn't have married Dola. Thank God I'm just a sister. I couldn't have married him. I don't know how Oche did it. She must, uh, she must just have been the best. <laughs> who he would later call wife. He often described a whirlwind romance, a meeting of perfect opposites who simply just clicked. He moved to London to start a new chapter, completing his bachelor's degree in social sciences from the Middlesex University and a master's in social sciences from Goldsmiths University. He had started a life in London, punctuated with acad academic achievements and exciting adventures with trusted friends, but there was something he needed to do. 
1992, he went back to Nigeria to marry Oche. No long after Bideni came along, and for two whole years, Dola and Oche were a family of three. Ayadi and Ayodola, beautiful, they're twin girls, came along in the thick of summer 1994 when they were five. He worked hard in London until he faced until he was faced with the opportunity to relocate to Lagos. A decision he did not take lightly. He did not take lightly. From 10, 2003 until the very end, he worked as the marketing and sponsorship manager at MTA Nigeria. A, a role he took on with all he had. One can barely think of yellow without thinking of Go Babadi, as he was so fondly called at the MTN office. In 2009, Governor Fashola appointed him as a director representing the telecoms industry on the board of the Lagos Sports Endowment Fund. He also served on the board of the Lekki British International School. Dollar was many things to many people. He was a man of faith, praise God. He recently gave his life to Christ, much to the confusion of those who assert that once we, well, once will do. He danced like David almost every Sunday. He ministered not as a minister, but as a man of humility and the purest love, with the purest love. To those who needed it the most. While, while, while the 10th of October 2020 may have been his last day of, may, has, may have been his last day on earth, his capacity to love, to accept, to welcome, and to cherish just around him lives on. Oche, Bide Miyayade and Ayodala, the gang of five, who are now sadly a gang of four. Hmm. Will spread his generosity and humility with all the time they have left. His siblings, Bemi Sola, Bola, Molly, and Faye, mourn him, but smile at the legacy he left. Mm -hmm. His best friends, Jibola, Jem, Paul, JJ, Seton, and many others will uphold that child, or that brotherhood. His cousins, the Bangboyes, the Oyes, Olu Babokuns, Olu Shalakukuluis, and many more remember him fondly. He will especially be missed by, his, by the Ochefu family, Mama Prof, Oche Hassan, Mary Ediga, and Ode, and a whole host of spouses who, who experienced his magic and moved him deeply. His MTN family and we'll remember him as the life and soul of the eighth floor. His church families at the city of David, thank God for them, and beyond. We'll miss him dancing, but we rejoice in the comfort that he's dancing in spirit. Dollar was magical, my brother was magical. A force of nature, a magnet. I call him an institution. He didn't care who you were or, or where you came from, what you wanted from him, or what you could do to for him. He treated everyone with equal amounts of grace. He commanded belly laughs and full smiles. If there's one thing to know is that dollar was a currency that you couldn't spend. Dollar was an experience. It says here we're lucky. I'm not gonna use the word. There's no luck with dollar. It says dollar was an experience and we're all blessed to have had him. Thank you everybody. Thank you so much for your support and love. Thank you. Hallelujah. Once again, let's appreciate Bemi Arewa Fidelis. When all strength is gone, when melodies are gone, in our sorrow, in our despair, when it comes, when it seems as if all is lost, there is one we must look to. His name is Jesus, the one with whom nothing shall be impossible. Please welcome any to as she sings, I look to you. without a cause 
after giving it my own Winter storms have come And darkened my sun After all that I've been through Who on earth can I turn to? I look to you changing scenes of life, going through trials and challenges, there is one we can always trust. His name is Jesus. The choir will sing the song, Through It All.
I've had many tears and sorrows. I've had questions for tomorrow. There's been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation that my trials have come to make me strong. Through it all. depend always on Jesus, the living word of God. And this afternoon to bring us the word as one who is a father, a mentor, a teacher of the word. And please give a warm welcome to bring the word today, Dr. O.K. Onuza.
Someone praise the Lord. I didn't mean that as a opening statement. I said, someone praise the Lord. We give the Lord God Almighty all the glory for the testimonies that speak eloquently of a life that was lived to the glory of God. I am sure Oche and the children are very proud to hear so many people say such wonderful things about husband and father. And we give all the glory to God. Can somebody say amen to that? I'd like to just share a thought with us. Shall we bow our heads to pray? Father, we are so grateful that we are all gathered here to celebrate the life of our brother that you have used so mightily among us and left so much wonderful memories with family and friends. Oh, Lord, our God, we thank you for his life. We thank you for the grace that you gave him. We thank you for the impact of his life on so many. And Lord, we pray that as we celebrate his life and remember him dearly, that as many as are here today may long to share the place where he has gone. Oh, Lord, our God, breathe your very life into us. We take every spirit here captive to Christ. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to speak briefly about two ways to die. Two ways to die. Come with me to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. In the presence of God, this is the New Revised Standard Version. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message, be persistent, whether the time is favorable or unfavorable, convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. Verse 3, for the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having each in ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own desires and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to myths. Verse 5, as for you, always be sober, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, carry out your ministry fully. As for me, the Apostle Paul writes, I am already being poured out as a libation and the time of my departure has come. I have fought, verse 7 says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Verse 8, from now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Can somebody say amen? Our second reading will be from 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 31. 
Then David said to Joab and all those who were with him, Tear your clothes and put on Bolap. Mourn for Abner. And King David himself walked behind the procession to the grave. They buried Abner in Hebron, and the king and all the people wept at his graveside. Verse 33. Then the king sang this funeral song for Abner. Should Abner have died as a fool? Two ways to die. You either die as a wise person or you die as a fool. Should Abner have died as a fool? Here we have stories of two generals. The first one, Paul the Apostle, was a general of the army of the king of heaven. The second one is a great general of the army of Israel. The first one is ready to die and announces his coming departure in glorious eulogies. His commander-in-chief has told him about the welcome he would receive. He could speak of the wisdom of the choices he made in life in the service of his commander-in-chief. The second one, he died as a fool. King David was deeply grieved and rendered a poetic lamentation with these words. Should Abner have died like a fool? This man died like a fool. As one preacher pointed out, some people will die no other way. The funeral cortege of the general of Israel's army stretched for more than half a mile. And here is the lamentation of the chief mourner, the king of Israel. Should Abner have died like a fool? Oh dear, Abner died like a fool. Now, why did Abner die like a fool? Take a listen. Second Samuel chapter 3 verse 6. While there was war, between the house of Saul and the house of David. Abner was making himself strong in the house of Saul. Now Saul had a concubine whose name was Rispa, daughter of Ai and Ishbal. And Ishbal, who was king in northern Israel, the son of um, Saul, said to Abner, why have you gone into my father's concubine? The words of Israel made Abner very angry. He said, am I a dog? Am I a dog's head for Judah? Today I keep showing loyalty to the house of your father, Saul, to his brothers and to his friends. I have not given you into the hand of David, and yet you charge me now with a crime concerning this woman. So may God do to Abner, and so may he add to it. For just what the Lord has sworn to David, that will I accomplish to him. To transfer the kingdom from the house of Saul and set up the throne of David over Israel and over Judah. From Dan to Beersheba. And Ishbel could not answer Abner another word because he feared him. Abner sent messengers to David at Hebron saying, to whom does the land belong? Make your covenant with me and I will give you my support to bring all Israel over to you. Now, now, look at this man, okay? He was commander of the army of Saul, okay? Saul dies, he knows, and, and, and then the, the, the natural heirs, Jonathan, Melchizedek, and Abinadab, the sons of Saul, they all died in the battle with Saul. So there was really no heir. Ishbosheth was just a boy. And you know, there was an unwritten law. Whoever gets the concubine gets the throne. And Ab Ishbosheth knew that. And because he challenged Abner about his 
in an adulterous relationship with, with Rispa, Abner got offended and said, I will restore the kingdom to Israel, to, to David. And so he went to Hebron to confer with David. And he met his death there. Why? Because they challenged him on an adulterous relationship. Abner died as a fool. He died as a fool. And maybe if we could uh, envision the cortege that led to his burial, there will be the casket, there will be his family, and probably Rispa. That's how he died. There is something everyone here this afternoon needs to know. Angels attend funerals. Angels attend funerals. We have it on the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. Angels attend funerals. That's why Jesus said, the reapers who are going to collect people after they die, he said, they're angels. You and I, I'm sure we are happy that the reapers are angels. Because, you know, if the reapers were Nigerians, you know what will happen? You know, if you see your friend or brother coming, you say, no, nah, that man, he can't go to hell. So when he comes, just let him in. When your own friend comes, we will also let him in. Yes. Jesus said, no, the reapers are angels. They're the ones going to do the separation. Because angels know that if they dare, if they dared, to taking someone who wouldn't enter, they will follow Lucifer. Because Lucifer was thrown out of heaven because iniquity was discovered in him. It wasn't that he did any iniquity. Oh, no, it's impossible. He just thought about it. That was it. It was out of heaven. Not to talk about an angel who will dare take you into heaven when you are hell bound. Abner died. As a fool. He didn't realize. That. When you sin. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how big you are. You pay. That's why the scriptures say. The wages of sin. Is death. Is death. So now. I will just take a few moments. To talk about fools. Who are the fools? Who are the men and women who die like fools on the earth? The Bible tells us about them. The first group of fools. They are found in Psalm 14 verse 1 to 4. All fools can say in their hearts. There is no God. They are corrupt. And their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is God. But no. They want to stave off pressure of conscience. They want to convince themselves that there is no God, there is no reckoning, there is no judgment, so they can continue in their evil. There is something I have learned about truth. You cannot add to it, you cannot take away from it. There is God, absolute. You say, can I prove it? I don't need to. I am the proof. I am the proof that there is God. I studied biology. I studied uh, 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 my, uh, uh, histochemistry. I studied molecular biology. The, the, the complexity of human life is unbelievable. It's mind-boggling. 
So I am proof. I am the proof that there is God. There is no way I could have come by chance. David said, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So only a fool can say there is no God. And that's what the scriptures say. But there is another set of fools. There is another set of fools. These are the existentialists who live for life here only for fame and fortune. In Luke chapter 12, a gentleman came and met Jesus and said, Bid my brother divide the inheritance. And Jesus said to him, Who made me a ruler and a judge? You know, to you. You, you go and share your whatever you have. And then he said to the disciples, A man's life does not consist in the abundance of his riches. And then he told them a parable. He said, The, the, the farm of a, 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 a rich man produced abundantly. And then he said to himself, Ooh, within his heart, I have so relax. You have so much put up for a long time. Eat, drink, and be merry. And the Bible says that night, that night, God said to him, you fool, today, today, all that you have acquired is going to be left behind. Your soul is required from you. You know, you know, I had an experience when I was a, a fellow at the Rochester uh, uh, University Hospital in America in the 80s. You know, th this story always reminds me about it. I had a patient. He was um, dying of stomach cancer. And he told me that he came from the Second World War and started uh, a male. He acquired an, he was an, um, a, a fighter pilot during the Second World War. He acquired this, this small plane, single engine plane, for male, executive male runs. So from one plane, he went to a second plane, then he went to a third plane, okay? And he built a lucrative business. So you see, he said when he got old, you know, after he was 70, he sold the business for $2 million in those days. He said to me, I have built a summer house in Rochester. I have built a winter house in Florida where I will go on vacation. And when I had just begun to settle down, to enjoy myself for the rest of my life, here comes this. Here comes this. You know, there is something about life and death. You know, there's such a finality. There's such a finality. The fool said in his heart, there is no God. The fool is living. For life, you know, one of the greatest tragedies of life is that we struggle so much for something we are going to leave behind. And then the thing that will follow us to eternity, we don't, we don't work hard on it. That's the tragedy. That is the tragedy. Who is the fool? The Bible says in Psalm 10 verse 1, that is the one who has no fear of God in his life. And 2 verse 6, the Bible speaks corruption. Because, you know, that is God who monitors some people. Nobody can escape. But the prayer told the story of a gentleman. And then he came to judgment. And, and, and 
a good person. And the, 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 the angel said, sorry. So you head the other direction. And then the people tested. Oh, no. Oh, no. This man was a good man. This man was a good man. So the, the, the angel called him. Mister, would you want me to show a video of your life for everybody to see? He said, no, I'll go quietly. I'll go quietly. In other words, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, what your friends think about you. What matters is who you are before him. Because our lives are open. Now, I'd like to talk about one more fool. Him, that they may have life and have it abundantly. To Christ, he enjoyed life to the fullest. He became a blessing to so many people. His life touched so many lives. Man's strategy is to deceive many by glamorizing sin and giving them socially acceptable names to encourage the fools to accept and live by them. The preacher told the story of uh, a gentleman that died. And when he got to the separation, the angel said to him, the lima pen. All kinds of music. There was so much excitement. Wow. He thought to himself, is this hell? It's okay now. You spent your day in hell. Come and spend your day in heaven. And then he, he, he turned over and he went to heaven. And when he got there, he saw them. Hallelujah. He said to himself, this is boring. <laughs> and so he came out. And so the angel said, so now that you have experienced the two, where do you want to go? He said to the angel, well, I, I really came here to go to heaven. But it looks as if exciting. To go to hell. So he went to hell. And then he started to hear people crying, flame, 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 you know, you know, you know. He said, you fell for all in for the advert, you know. Nobody can glamorize hell to the man who knows the truth. That's a young lady. I know her. It's a true story. She had an accident uh, in a Kuiher. 
She was riding on Nakada. She woke up six days later in hospital. And she said that in those six days, she was in white and she was traveling and she was singing and dancing. And so, as she progressed, she got to a place one day uh, where, where, where uh, there was a man standing that said, oh no, you must go back. Oh no, you must go back. She said, sir, having gotten this far, please let me uh, continue. And the angel said, no, no, you have to go back. She, she fell on the floor and cried and cried. And then the angel said, come. Suppose I and they don't let you in. Are you sure you qualify? So in that case, I will go back. That's how she woke up again. Nobody should pass through the gate of death without being sure where you are going to end up. You have to be sure where you are going to end up. That's why the Apostle Paul said that. The ones that rejected the abundant life that Jesus gave. Let me tell you why God would be very angry. Because he sent Jesus to make us all judicial pardon. He provided judicial pardon. What does that mean? Knew no sin, so that you and I can become the righteousness of God in Christ. That's awesome. In other words, no matter how sinful your life has been so far, if you come, get up this afternoon and say, Lord Jesus, forgive my sin. Wash my sin in your blood. Do you know? There will be no record of your sin found in God's book anymore. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. No matter, no matter how terrible your life has been, Jesus died so that your sins can be forgiven. And then there is another thing he died for. He died to release his Holy Spirit inside you so that you and the Holy Spirit can be companions throughout your life. I, say, I always share with people that that's how I gave my life to Christ. That Sunday afternoon, June 28, 1970, I was invited to a scripture union guest afternoon. The preacher preached. I can't remember all that he said. And he invited us. He said, come and give your life to Christ now. I got up and left because I was raised in church. I was an altar boy. I didn't think I needed to be saved. I, I thought I was already saved. So I said, yes. And that voice said to me, go back and write your name down. That's where you belong. You don't belong to where you are going. I turned around. I thought that it was someone behind me. Then I realized that this must be God. So I went back and wrote my name down. That's how I gave my life to Christ. June 28, 1970. And that voice and I, we have traveled the world. We have traveled the world. And at every juncture where I needed to make an important decision, that voice was there. And that's why, you know, I will commend the companionship of the Holy Spirit to Che, be de me, Ayoade, and Ayodola. I commend the Holy Spirit to you. Nobody, nobody can handle your affairs more than he can. Oh, he gave me counsel all the time. I remember when I got to the University of Ibadan and I realized I wasn't admitted to study medicine. I was shattered. I went to Trenchard Hall to register. They told me my 
my name wasn't there. As I stepped out of that place, my heart was in turmoil. And I couldn't think of facing my father because he had announced that his second doctor was on the way. But that voice came to me. He said, son, you want to study medicine? I said, yes. Oh, go and register wherever they want you to register. It will not make a difference. And throughout that one year of prelim, every time I had doubts, they would come to me and said, I didn't say you should take an opinion poll. Just go on. You will study medicine. And to us, at the end of the year, we applied, and I changed from science to medicine. You see, that voice, you and that voice will travel the world. I want to leave you a question before I stop now. How would you like to die? Would you like to die as a fool? Or would you like to die as a wise man? So that, you know, if, if anything happens to you anytime, you are confident that the angels of God will conduct you to where Jesus is. You know? No, I love, I love the prayers that Jesus prayed. He said, Lord, I want my, my, this, my disciples to be where I am. So I want them to be where I am. So some people said to me, so when, when a Christian dies, where is he going? I said, he's going to where Jesus is. So where is that called? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It may be paradise, but he's going to where Jesus is. That's where our brother has gone. He's going to where Jesus is because Jesus said, where I am. There you will be also. You know, many people die. They don't know where they are going. They say, well, I don't know. Uh, 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 a, a lady said to me, well, when I die, they will weigh my good versus my bad. They will weigh the two. So if my good weighs more than my bad, I will go to heaven. If my bad weighs more than my good, I will go to hell. I said, that, that's a very dangerous proposition. Do I need to wait for them to weigh to know where I'm going? Ah, oh no. Jesus said, come to me. Come to me. I will put on you, you see, that something he puts on us. They call it the seal of the Holy Ghost. That's what the angels will be looking for when you die. Do you have the seal of the Holy Ghost? You know, that seal... Men cannot read it. Men don't read the seal of the Holy Ghost. But the angels know the seal of the Holy Ghost. And that's why his, Jesus said, men cannot do the separation. They can't see the seal. There is nothing that will give a brother dollar so much joy than to know that on this day when we came to celebrate his life, you found the Savior and you remained with him till you died so that you could all be together. Nothing can please him the more. And that's why I say to you, don't try to find out what hell looks like. It is not a pleasant place. No matter what the adverts may say, you can say to him right now, Lord Jesus, I have erred. I have not allowed you to take away my sins. I have not surrendered my life to you. But now I repent. Please come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. I want to spend eternity with you so that if I were to breathe my last any moment, I will be confident that I will spend eternity with you. Bow your head and let us pray. Bow your head and say to him, Lord Jesus, please have mercy upon my soul. Forgive my sins. Come into my heart now and be 
my Lord and my Savior. I will thank you that because of you, I will go to heaven. Thank you for saving me. My brother, my sister, if you are saying this prayer with all your heart, oh, I want to pray with you that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, he will come and put that seal on you. And whenever you die, whenever, however old you are, the angels will recognize that seal and take you to heaven. And so if you're here and you are saying that prayer in your heart, just lift up your hand wherever you are. Wherever you are, just lift up your hand. Yes, lift it up. Lift it up to God. Lift it up. Because I want to pray with you. Wherever you are, lift up your hand to the Lord. There are angels here. They also take record of everyone that is making that decision. Just lift up your hand and say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart now and be my Lord and be my Savior. I surrender my life to you. My desire is to spend eternity with you. Thank you for saving me. For in Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. And just before I leave, I want to make sure everyone knows that whatever you did this afternoon or didn't do, that's a record. You will no longer be able to say that I never had an opportunity to give my life to Christ. Because this service will be on record against you. And so even if you haven't done it, you can join. Go to City of David, go to any of the churches. Pastor Etwa has a church. Go there and say, I was there at Dollar's uh, uh, service of songs. But I couldn't really come out. But I'm here to give my life to Christ. It doesn't matter. There were secret disciples in the days of Christ. Yes. He will accept you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this hour. We pray, oh God Almighty, that your hand of comfort will rest on our brother's family. To sustain them. To keep them. To comfort them. To empower them. That, Lord, they will run their race the way their father has run his own race. And when life is over, they will be united with you in heaven. And, Lord, we pray for everyone that has attended this service. Jesus, Jesus, please, let this day not stand in judgment against them. And may they, oh God, find their peace in you. And may they die as wise men and women. For in Jesus precious name we pray. I can't hear the amen. amen. Hallelujah. Once again, let's appreciate Dr. O.K. Onuzo. And if you received a card or if you want a card, there are ushers with cards. You can just Raise your hand. If you have filled your cards, just please hand them back to the ushers and we will be in touch with you. God says in his word, I have loved you with an everlasting love. His love never fails. His love never dies. And he will be loving us always. That's the message, a love song from God to Oche, to Bidemi, to Ayoade, to Ayodola, to each and every one of us here. Always. Can 
rest your mind assured that I'll be loving you always. As now can't reveal the mystery of tomorrow, but in passing we'll grow older every day. Just as all that's born is new, you know what I say is true, that I'll be loving you always. Seasons know exactly when to change. Just as kindness knows no shame, know through all your joy and pain that I'll be loving you always. Now today I know I'm leaving, but tomorrow could make me the best, but then I mustn't fear. Well, I know that in my mind, the love of me, I'm left behind. And I'll be loving you always Until the day is mine I'll never stop loving you always Until the dream of life when life becomes so true been a wonderful day so far. I know that uh, there are a few people who are here and have tributes to give. Uh, we're going to take some tributes before the benediction and after the benediction, we're going to just have a celebration and there'll be tributes and all. So please um, do not uh, despair. Uh, next, to lead us in prayers for the family, please welcome Pastor Ido Iliomade. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Dollar. Amen. Hallelujah. He has joined the saints triumphant. He has moved from the saints militant to the saints triumphant. Let's just appreciate the King of glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We'd like to pray with the family. I'd like to ask um, the immediate family to please um, rise up where they are. Oche, Fidemi, Ayade, Ayodola, the brothers, and those are part of the family, you know, Ochefu uh, family also would like to just encourage you in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Eternal Rock of Ages, we bless your holy name. King of glory, we adore you. There I am, that I am, the sovereign Lord, we bow before you. The resurrection and the life, we magnify your holy name. We thank you for your word that says that in every situation, we should give you thanks. Thank you for sweet memories. Thank you for your son, as we have heard today from the preacher, to be absent from the body, to be, will be, to be immediately present with the Lord. Thank you, O Lord, because we know that your son is with you right now. Father, we give you all the glory for a life of impact, a life that was profitable unto you, a life that counted, a life that should be emulated. Thank you for a life well spent. Thank you, King of Glory, O Lord, for the family, friends that you left behind. You are a God of comfort. Please comfort your children in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, O oh Lord, you are the only one that can wipe away tears. Wipe away our tears in Jesus' mighty name. You told us that we should not mourn like those that don't know you. King of glory, we thank you, O oh Lord, for the opportunity to celebrate a good life. Father, we pray that when our own time comes also, we will be celebrated in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we lift up even the family into your hands. Thank you for his wife. Thank you, O Lord, because you are a God that never leaves vacuum. You said that you are the husband to the widow, the father to the fatherless. Father, we pray that you will enter into your role right now in Jesus' mighty name. You promised us that you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. That you will be with us even to the ends of time. You said not Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Not life, not death, not what is happening right now, not what will happen in the future. So, Father, we are confident that you'll be with your children. Father, O oh Lord, before they call upon you, answer them in Jesus' mighty name. All that their husband, their father, their cousin, their friend would have wanted to do, Father, do it even much more in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, we thank you, O oh Lord, even for the Holy Spirit. Spirit of living God, you are with us, you are in us, you are all around us. Reveal yourself this hour in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, O Lord, we come again the spirit of fear. We bind it and cast it out in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, King of glory, because you are a God that goes ahead. You promised us and you promised this family that you will go ahead of us, you go ahead of them. You will make every crooked way straight. You will fill every valley. You will remove every mountain. So let it be in Jesus' mighty name. Father, O oh Lord, you have said that we should say it to the righteous. It shall be well with them. Father, we prophesy that it shall be well with your children in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, O oh Lord, we just want to thank you for that resurrection morning when friends and families will be reunited. Father, we thank you. We give you glory, honor, and adoration because we know that for the Christian, for dollar, the grave is not the end. We will see again. Father, for all those that have been here today, we thank you for the powerful words and the ministrations through music that has gone forth. King of glory, O oh Lord, we pray that at the end of it all, every one of us will fulfill destiny in Jesus' mighty name, will fulfill purpose in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, O oh Lord, we want to thank you. We soak this family in the blood of Jesus. We say that no evil will come near them. King of glory, O oh Lord, when we hear from them, it shall be joy and gladness. We thank you, O oh Lord, because you told us that weeping can only endure for a night. That joy will surely come in the morning. Father, we look forward to greater days, months, and years of joy. Weddings and all kinds of things that will bring joy. Father, O Lord, we pray that so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, O Lord, we commit the rest of the service and that which you have tomorrow into your hands. King of glory, you are a God that can give us beauty out of ashes. We pray that out of the ashes, beauty will rise and you redeem souls in Jesus' mighty name. Father, into your hands we commit this family. We pray that you'll be with them. you stand by them. King of glory, for the body of Christ, encourage us. 
eternal rock of ages, at the end of it all, we pray that every one of us will make heaven. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated.
tell you all about it when I see you again. It's been a long road from where we began. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Give the vote of thanks. Please welcome Bidemi Bamboe. I know we still have a couple of tributes after this, so uh, for those of you who have men give tributes. Huh? So, um, on behalf of the Dollar Bangboy family, I'd like to thank every single person who has uh, offered their condolences, be it by call or text, we thank you. For everyone who's been to the house to pay their respects and share our grief, we thank you. Your efforts have gotten us through these trying times. Um, I've never given a vote of thanks before, so forgive me if um, I don't do an amazing job. It's, uh, it's despicable that I have to make my, my debut in, in such circumstances, but as my dad used to say, Nassau um, Vissiam. There's too many people to thank. Uh, my dad was a network of his own. He, he had a network any, anyone would like to boast of. So if I go around thanking everyone, we probably wouldn't make it uh, for curfew. So. I'm gonna try and pinpoint one or two. Um, first of all, the planning committee, everyone who's put this together, you've done a splendid job. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's, uh, it's everything he would, have, he would appreciate. So I'd like to thank uh, Uncle Jibala, Jibala Afalabi, and Tewinko Afalabi, and of course, Timila Moshope and Falashaya. Uh, to Yemi Kerry, thank you. Mr. Aki and to Yemi Ario, very, very grateful. Mr. and Mrs. Gibao Sergei, Uncle Uyi, and to Bimi, deeply, 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 thank you. And to Falaki Adama, we thank you. Uncle Damoye, and to Kele, thank you so very much. Friends of the family, the Bragmans, the Jai Olas, and to Tani, thank you so much. Uncle BJ, the Bajas, um, uh, Uncle, Uncle TJ, Ice Cream Man, the Alignees, the Brave Weights. It's, it's like I said, we wouldn't make her for you if I, if I go on. Uh, MTN, I can't give a vote of thanks without thanking MTN, the Yellow family, his second family. Sometimes they were even jealous of, of how much time and how, much, how many stories he had. So um, thank you, MTN. I have to thank Farah Palace. Like um, they said in the tribute, the amount of times he reminded us he, he grew up in Federal Palace, he'd be absolutely over the moon to know that um, was here celebrating his life here in Federal Palace. Um, I'd like to thank my family, the Ochefus, who really and truly have no business being here for we, have, we suffered another loss in our family and um, they've had to choose to be here. So. Of course, I'm, I'm so very thankful. My Auntie Mary, we're with you. We will be with you soon. Sorry for your loss. And uh, yeah, I think I'm rounding up here. Everyone who's here, thank you so much. And actually, no, uh, thank you to my dad. My dad did everything for me, did everything for us. Um, he...
he was he was always there. He was always the father. I have, I have friends who till today tell me that, oh, you're so lucky, your dad. You know, I have, I have friends who never knew their dad, who've never seen their dad. So, you know, for me to see my dad almost every day, talk to him almost every day. He, he, like I said, he did everything for us. He, he set the stage for me. He, he prepared me for this day, believe it or not. So um, thank you, Dad. Thank you for making life easy. Thank, even your death, it's been so simple. You know, your goodwill has opened so many doors. It's been crazy. So thank you, Daddy. Love you. So well. Uh, Hallelujah. Let's appreciate Bidemi from going. Like we said, there's a celebration that continues. We have more tributes to take. But as Dollar would say, the show must go on. And for those of us he has left on this side of eternity, what is left is for us to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling so that we will get to heaven, we will see Dollar again, and then the show will go on and on and on and on. Dola is with the saints in heaven, singing Alleluia. Hallelujah. We take two songs. I feel like going on and Alleluia.
Hallelujah. The show we must go on. We still have a celebration. We have tributes live from the Zoom family uh, connection. Please join me. Welcome, Pastor Yomi Badejo Kusoya. Please, can we all please be seated? We're about to go into the next phase of this celebration. Please be seated. Please be seated. We have tributes. We have the celebration that is going on from now. Please be seated. Hello. May I have your attention, please? Good evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The party is not over. As Dollar will say, let this show go on. So we're going to start in, we're going to take another set of tributes uh, and I'm going to first invite the grammarians that are here, old boys of CMS Grammar School, Grammar School, old boys CMS Grammar School. What is Dollar without CMS? Good evening, everybody. Please, if you're a grammarian, Please come forward so we can do the rendition of the first and last verses of our school song. If you're a grammarian, you went to CMS Grammar School, Dollars Alma Mater, please come forward so we can do a rendition of the school song. We'll be led by the OGS president worldwide, Mr. Olu Vincent. Please come forward while I say a few words. I have there not. Grammarians in the house, please come forward while I say a few words, please, before we take the first and last verses of the school song. Dola Bangwe joined CMS in 1975 as a boarder in Kale House and immediately made his impact felt by his wit and friendliness. He drew the wrath and love of both seniors and juniors and so many of his classmates, many of whom are here with us today. He thoroughly went through CMS in typical dollar fashion, particularly impacting the social scene of Lagos in the late 70s and early 80s. Having spent six years in CMS, dollar's mark on junior and senior lits of those days were unrivaled. We like to say that despite dollar being a selfless and proud grammarian, we lent him to other less known schools of the time, like the khaki wearing boys of Igbobi, Casey, Greg's and many other schools. They were quick to claim him as their own. His friends cut across all strata and society. But one thing they all had in common was that they were proud to call Dollar their friend. A selfless grammarian who always took pride in identifying with his alma mater, he wore the badge of CMS with pride on his breast every day. And his loss is, in the, is an ache in the hearts of all grammarians worldwide. His selflessness knew no bounds as he was always willing to go the extra mile to add a spark to a grammarian event. From OGS UK to OGS Americas, Dollar was always checking in and touching base. As you listen to our school songs, please note our chorus. Dollar played the game. He kept the flame burning brightly ever. In the end, he lived a life as a true grammarian as we constantly re be reminded by our school motto, Nisi Dominus Frostra. Without God, everything is in vain. We miss you and the CMS Grammar School would never forget you. Okundola Bangui, sleep well, bro. We love you. Um, yes, um, the, well, So, we're going to go with the first and last stander of the school song.
coming for the fight. Pressing on with all our might. Looming wings for fly our flight. Oh, 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 boys, true as fate. Lies in high and Grammarians in the house, we are going to be rendering the school song at church tomorrow. So please, we enjoin you to please join us tomorrow at the church service at COD at 10 a.m. tomorrow so we can rendition, we can have a rendition of the school song before we lay our brother to rest. These were important. Well, I in the development of MTN. Okay, we have and a few tributes. Another. Um, so, can we just pay attention to some of the tributes? The feedback that I that would give Dollar here. was that's 180 cents, not even 150 cents like Benin. That was 180 cents. And you know, we didn't have slam dunks when we got those events to work so well. Uh, we had slam bams, we had slam boya, bam boya. Uh, in full force. So Dollar was definitely one of my heroes. And you know the words, the labors of our heroes past shall never be in vain. So we shouldn't consign Dollar to the, the past. We can make Dollar part of our future. So I have an idea. idea that with Ochi's permission we should set up a wall, a wall of honor and our special events and promos will be our dollar department we will struggle to develop this new project of, of ours uh, Nigeria is having difficulties with the virus with economic um, disenfranchisement, with youth calling for political changes. In the next one or two years, it will not be easy. I'm hoping that we can count on Dollar's spirit, his commitment, his sense of purpose and his sense of reason and his incredible sense of humor that we can carry forward and do something very special. And I ask those of you who are involved already in our new project, Dem, Tosen, Nkechi, Michael, Sven, Mohammed, Rodney Mutari, Ngozi, Ijoma, 
toying, uh, getting Georgie, Bology, and Tunji. So let's make this happen. And in closing, I'd just like to say, you can have a fistful of Ghanaian sedis. You can have in your hands a bunch of Kenyan shillings, perhaps a bag of South African rands or even Naira, pound sterling, but there's only one dollar. So God bless dollar. God cherished dollar amongst his angels and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Tribute to dollar, my brother and treasured friend. I'm still in shock at dollar's sudden passing and I express my sincere condolences to Oche Bidemi, Ayuade and Ayodola. Dollar was such a vibrant, engaging and sincere person. What you see is what you get with dollar. It was totally without guile. Whilst my wife, Yemsi, has been friends with Dollar since their secondary school days. I first met him in 2006 when MTN started sponsoring some of Ultima's TV shows. Not only was Dollar willing to support us in Ultima, but as the MTN sponsorship manager, he would bend over backwards to use his authority to ensure the working relationship was effective and mutually beneficial. Unlike the, most people who form their opinions based on signals from their bosses, Dollar was always upfront with his support of our projects. Although I met Dollar in a business setting, our relationship quickly grew beyond that and became a close friendship that will forever remain dear to my heart. Dollar always referred to me as his Egbo and mentor, and indeed it was a younger brother I never had. While he saw me as a mentor, truth is that I also learned from him, particularly the way he was always so open about his feelings. Looking back at our tests, I noticed that no matter how short the text, Lola would type a few words of sincere appreciation and express his love. One of my last tests from him read, and I quote, there are people like you who give us strength that we need to face the day-to-day -day problems. You are a brother and I thank God for a genuine brother like you. And may God richly bless you and my family, end of quote. Whilst I admit I wasn't so expressive, I believe that Dola knew how special he was to my family and me, and how much we sincerely loved and valued him as a member of our family. Dola, I thank you for the gift of friendship, and I miss you. Hello, yeah, Dola. Okay, um, let me bring up Boson. Uh, he's going to do some oriki for us, and then. I will call Ayuade, who is going to speak about her dad. Katore ni yodibo, katore for hudodo. Katore ni odibo, katore fon hudodo, odo ju ala baba, odo ju ala baba, katore fon hudodo. Oma elere meji takotabo, oma tabo lu waro, oma elere meji waro rila ori, o wule uloko. Oh my, my waro kede le osin. O pa mi ju ikure mi. O ma pa ni jare. O fi ku i jasile. A no jo loro. Boru boru. O boni lori. O nyawa. O mu baro ja. A mu eti kola wale. O mu agbonu do gusule. Ke sako kakaka. O ba misu. O kwe waro mi. O loko sokoro koko uji. E si bi ode afari mo kiki omo oluroko jegede leti aro eyi ni lulu eyi laka ule ye bare atore ni odigo katore fo hododon katore ni odigo 
kato re fon hu dodo kato ri eni bi dola kato re fon hu dodo o ku dola o ku dola ai lo ko doju ala kato ri lowo ba mi eni ro eni ro eni ti eni ba be kari o ku dola Majoku majako lo un to ba je lo un o ba me je ba mi ari no ku o to ju ala o ba mi ro orun re re aye sa orun si ya aye ya orun ti ya o ku do la o o un to ba je lo un o ba 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 mi je abi o mo bi ti ra ki sun ma sun ba wo jule ko ma wo se ko ma wo bi de mi ko ma wo ya de ko ma wo ya dola orun ra re o ku dola ma je ku ma je ko lo ohun to ba je lorun ni o ba won je o Some say he likes to be the center of attraction everywhere he goes. I say to them, it takes self-confidence to want to be the center of attraction. That is dollar, tall and imposing, yet a gentle giant unable to hurt a fly. A man with many aliases, as his life transcended all boundaries. Friend to the high and mighty, yet adored by the poor because of his humility. Okundola's pedigree speaks for itself. Born with a silver spoon into the family of late Claudius Agbola Bangboye, a two-time junior minister of education and health in the First and Second Republic, and Phibian Ola Bangboye of Ushi, Ekiti, today's Ekiti State. Okundola started his early education at Ladilak Institute, from there to CMS Bama School, Bariga. Then he proceeded to the UK for university and graduated from Middlesex University. He returned to Nigeria to work at MTN Nigeria, where he rose to become the events and sponsorship manager, a position he embraced diligently, becoming the face of yellow at all events nationwide. A family man to the core, he married his heartthrob, Vivian Oche Bangoye, whom he met during a pitch stop at Amadubelo University, a union that produced three lovely children. Okundola loved his family dearly and always spoke proudly and fondly of them, especially his unique set of twins. Dola. 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 Death, where is thy sting? He was always there to rejoice with you and also there to mourn with you. The outpouring of love that his passing has generated is a testament to his persona. Eccentric sometimes, yet disarmingly charming. Extremely humble. Kind with an infectious smile. Unequivocally loyal to friendship. The life of every occasion, sad and joyous. Dola was one of the best dancers of his generation, often displaying his dance steps, reminiscent of Michael Jackson at every occasion. <laughs> Dollar, dollar, dollar. If only you could answer me affectionately like you always do, a bon colino, just one time, just one more time. Dollar was extremely religious, often referring to God as Agbanila Baton. He was motivated to serve God and passionately got involved in church activities. Hello, everybody. Good morning, church. Thank you very much for making it. You can see my shirt. This is Arise. 
We've got it coming up next month. We need you guys to register in clusters, clusters of 20 to 25, from Aja to Magodo, from Magodo to Surulere Stadium, from Stadium to Ikoyi Bodilon, from Bodilon straight to Abuja, Guarimpa, Meitama. Yes, because City of David is a global church. It is no surprise that since Dollar passed away, everyone who crossed this path has the same testimony. Such is the consistency in the character of the man, Okundola, his large heart, his candor. Dola was affable, amiable, polite, likable, gregarious, generous to a fault, and would take the shirt off his back for a friend he just met a few hours ago. Dola has gone home with a broad smile, guided by his faith and by the light of those he loved. Leaving those of us who grieve his passing with the memories he gave, the good that he did, and the dream he kept alive in his family. We take solace in the fact that he's in a better place and God loves him more. As they say, heaven has gained an angel. Sleep tight, big deal, sleep tight. Rest in perfect peace. <laughs> Vintage dollar, you'll all agree. I believe so much has been said about dollar this evening or this afternoon, and a few things that I took out from what many people have said, describing him, good, passionate, humble, gentle. And a lot of us here this evening, we should take a lot of lessons from what we've heard and from the life of dollar. We don't know who is next. We don't know how much more time we have. I remember what the speaker said. Even though he was upset with him, the next time he saw him, it had all gone. He doesn't bear grudges. I used to call him Omo Sheparo, and he calls me Yom Ye. I don't know why the good ones have to go first. So maybe some people who are staying for too long, maybe you're not. That's good. Just show a little kindness. It doesn't cost you anything. A little kindness. A little humility. A little affection. There's somebody you've always wanted to call. Call that person today. Right now. Just pick up your phone. Just send a message to that person. And you have taken something away. Dollar was like a candle that he can let light other candles. Let me consult with my master of, director of ceremony. Although I know Ayade has something she wants to say. Yes, okay. Um, while Aria and I are executing to find out what next, Ayade will come and she has something to say. I understand a few people are here also and you'd like to pay a tribute to Dollar, uh, please let Aria know so that we can bring you up. Uh, this is being broadcast live. It's on Zoom. So don't mind the number of people who are still in the hall. There are many people from all over the world that are still watching. 865, I understand. Um, hi everyone. Thanks for being here today. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short. There are some matters where sorry just doesn't cut it. Like once someone pours your drink before you can finish drinking it to him, because there's still so much to know. We've heard some wonderful tribute.
Uh, but one thing so vanguard and more preponderance is his reckless abandoned dance to the great geometrician of the universe. He has been able to benchmark excellent magic when it comes to invigorated panoramic cascade and humongous dance. And uh, when, when I heard his demands, I felt it's a huge joke. And I want to say that without any iota of equivocal. Now this is a man who is a, lo is, is a loss of iconic titan, a religious salavanda. That is to say, he is so committed to episcopal function sacramental obligation, which is more vanguard for every human being. It's a mentor, it's a role model. And when, it come, when I had this demise, in my own ratiocination, perspicacious personality, reasonableness, I said, I don't need to cry much because if he pleased divinity, who is humanity? And when humanity cannot control his emotion, divinity may be upset. Therefore, it's a loss, but God, to God be praised and be reverenced for everything. I wish him eternal rest. And I wish him effervescent and exuberant reward from the great geometrician of the universe. He, one of the things that strike me, despite his lofty portfolio, he doesn't care what people perceive or Doriferous per perception of people. He's too to conquer. Lua subjugate, subjugate his personality for the panoramic reverence of the great geometrician of the universe. And when a man accepts responsibility of divinity, such a man becomes a celebrity. And it is the acceptability of the law of divinity that determines our productivity. One thing that struck me was that Dollar will always say, he will always advise that the Satan is suffering from insanity. He always wants to cause enmity between humanity and the Almighty by making humanity commit iniquity. But he told us that we have immunity in Christ Jesus that spark more than electricity to give us security against satanic stupidity, such as mediocrity, and to make us a celebrity. Praise the Lord, celebrities in the house. Thank you very much, Professor. Uh, Lanry Olushola, we need you here. In the meantime, we'll take uh, the montage from MTN. Cheers to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones that are there. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your There's a time that I remember And I did not know no pain When I believed in forever Everything would stay the same Now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day Hey. Everybody hurts sometimes, everybody hurts someday hey, hey. Everything gon' be alright, gonna raise a glass and say hey. Here's to the ones that we got hello, hello. Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through Toast to the ones in the day Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your Memories bring back, memories bring back your There's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost And I 
sun isn't quite as high. The birds don't sing as sweet of a lullaby. The stars seem a little bit faded. The clouds just a little more gray. And it feels like things won't ever be the same. Heaven got another angel tonight. You left this world behind. Heaven got a little better today. It took you away from me. I'm missing you. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Bola Bangwe. Bola Mole Adigwega Bangwe. Uh, I haven't been here for more than 15 years. I, I'm in Nigeria. So it took the death of my brother for me to come here. Ukundola uh, Bola Bangwe. My father was able to coin names for us. He, he's a, a poet like that. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for coming today. Uh, you are wonderful people, and uh, by the grace of God, we will be there for you too. The love that you share for us is overwhelming, one of a kind, just like our, our brother is, and our son, and our cousin. And our... On behalf of the Bangui family, I'm thanking you profusely for me. I, there is no, there's no words to describe this kind of love. There's no words to describe it. But I thought to myself, I can't come on the way and not, you know, thank these wonderful people who have done way beyond my own imagination, my own expectation. So on behalf of the Bangui family, I'd like to thank you all profusely, unending. We will never, we will never forget this, never. We come from a little village called Ushiekiti. Um, somebody told me, I, was, uh, I went to repeat. After I left CMS Grammar School, I went to repeat in village because my father is a villager, even though he was the minister for this and that, but he loved his village. Uh, he took me to the village. So I, they said, I heard a man saying that, ah, Ushiekiti, that if you look in the Bible, the Yoruba Bible, you see the name Ushi there, that's Ushi. I said, <laughs> it's a lie. I went to check it and I found Ushi there. So I found out that my village is a very ancient village, a biblical one. We are very godly people, as you can tell. Even with all our rascality, deep down in us, it's in our DNA. We are very, very godly people. We know God, we love God, but we are rascal too. Dollar himself was what you call a, a socialist, uh, social, socialist, socialist socialite. Socialist, socialites. It's in our DNA. We, we love humanity. So we mingle with the low and we mingle with the high. If you find a Bangui that doesn't mingle with the low and doesn't mingle with the high, then you must ask him, are you sure you are Bangui? Because the Bangui's, we, are, we love humanity. We love God. So the love of God in us it automatically transfers to humanity. So what we do is our second nature. As for Dola, it's not that he wants to be center of attraction. He can't control the love that is within him. 
So I had to come out here and explain a few things in case some people think that Dola wanted to be center of attraction. No, 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 no. He cannot control the love that is in him. That is why. So, again, once more, on behalf of the Bangui family and the Ochefu, because now we have the Ochefu and the Bangui, that's another dimension. So if you think you've seen something, you haven't seen anything yet, wait until Bidemi starts. Wait until Ayodola starts. Wait until Ayodola starts. You haven't seen anything. The Bangu, in my father's house, in the Bangui house, we have so many mansions. So many. If it was not so, I won't I tell you a lie. I won't. So, once more, I'd like to thank that planning community, committee. There was a time they kept saying the family. I, I said, no, no, go and change it all. When I brought my certificate for whatever my school is on from Ladilac, and they misspelled my name, and they forgot to put the G in the Bangui, my father didn't even warn me. He just gave me a resounding knock on my head, what they call a coup. Boy, he said, take it back to your teacher and tell him to spell my name right. So when I said, ah, bang, no, the family, I said, please, oh, this is the Bangui family. And don't you ever forget it. Dollar is only the beginning. In my father's house, there are many, many, many mansions. And we will celebrate all these mansions with each and every one of you. Because we love you. Just as we love God, we love you too. Once again, I'd like to thank you so much. My elder brother, he's usually the orator. But, uh, you know, he's a... Uh, <laughs> you see now. Uh, of course, Wahala. Emma Wole, Baba. Emma Wole. That's the great orator. Thank you, everybody. He will conclude the matter. Kiki, can you come, please? Well, um, I've had to take permission from my first cousin. She's a, she's a second in command of the Oluria Bees, you know, and. My brother was urging me on, but I thought it's not in my place, you know, because it's such a very sad thing, you know, for me to be, to be talking at my brother's funeral. May it never happen to any of you in your, in your long life. I said in my tribute to him, I borrowed the book, I borrowed the page from Shakespeare, Macbeth to be exact, you know. I said he should have died here after there would have been time for such a word. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this pity pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays are boiled, lighted fools away to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his time upon the stage and then it's hard no more. It is like a word to an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Please, my cousin has a word to say. Good evening, everyone. My name is Paul Oye, and I'm Uncle Dollar's nephew. Um, I normally like freestyling most of my speeches, but for Uncle Dollar, I had to write this down. I deliberately wore a durag today because I'm a youth and we can dress however we want to. Um, hashtag NSTARS. Um, I also want to freestyle a bit more before I start my speech because I like to correct MTN Nigeria. I think they put something of Uncle Dollar having yellow blood. Uncle Dollar has blue blood. Let me tell you, but I'll get to that later on. Okay, so now I can commence my speech. Man, I love my uncle, man. More than you guys will ever know. I hate losing family. And there's one thing you need to know about me is that I never forget. But before I go into that, let me freestyle some more. 
I like this, um, the show must go on um, slogan up here. Uh, clearly, we can see Uncle Dollar here, Uncle Dollar here, Uncle Dollar there. He's clearly a showman. And the show must actually go on. And I, Paul Oye, plan on giving you guys a show. But before that, <laughs> it pains me that most people have left because I know Uncle Dollar would have stayed at anyone's event till the end. Let me start. King's blood. That is the man that just died. Feel free to fact check me, but I have a very strong feeling about this. I feel it in my bones. Uncle Dollar is the tallest man in the room. Facts, like, like the biggest king you see. So benevolent. Everyone likes him. You've heard it multiple times today. Crazy. What is a king? I will give you that. I will give you a, a dialogue between three kings at the end of this speech on, on this question. I, and believe me, I learned this from a Japanese cartoon us youth call anime. Agbalagba, like yourselves, do not know about anime. But anime always made me curious to learn about history. And as Einstein said, never ignore a holy curiosity. And I'm sure you know, those who ignore history are condemned to repeat it. So let me tell you a few things about my uncle. Everyone has said he was kind, caring, benevolent, humble, etc. But I'm going to tell you how Uncle Dora directly impacted my life. When I moved to Lagos in 2018 to work at a firm called Bawa Negodalo, most of my father's siblings could not assist in terms of accommodation because my job was on the island and they lived on the mainland. All those who knew, who we knew and who were close to us said their houses were full. Fortunately, Uncle Dollar's daughters were now living in London and he allowed me stay in their room. Even though he objectively had space for me, I felt he created space for me. And I'll explain that further. Every day after work, he'd give me his time with just about his life, the things he felt he could have done better, how much he loved his children, how his children are his greatest treasures, how he feels like the richest and wealthiest man on earth because he knows he raised superstars. In my mind, I was always like, what is this guy feeling like with all this bragging? But let me put it out there. Uncle Dollar was not rich in terms of material possessions, but man, he tried for me, man, more than he ever needed to. I feel Lagos, Lagos, Lagos did him dirty. And you guys must pay compensation. King's blood, make sure his family is well looked after. I'm not finished though. I've not finished though. I've not finished. I am a very curious person by nature. Please now. I am a very curious, sorry, Antioche. I am a very curious person by nature, and I talk to everybody, not to gossip about them, but to know my environment and know more about them. So let me tell you what I know of Uncle Dollar. Feel free to fact check me, but to be honest, I think I confirm most of the things I know from this slide today. Uncle Dollar's father was a two-time junior minister of health and education. He helped some of his friends get contracts from his dad back in the day. He always told me how he wished he got gigs for himself too. He showed me his former house in Ikoyi, number two Alexander Road. He told me he lived the life back in the day. They had money. Auntie Bemi, Uncle Dollar's junior sister, also told me about the parties they threw in Federal Palace, where all the current Lagos who is who's, yesterday's small boys, used to attend. Hey, hey. Idola, any issue? Okay, cool. He did all these nice things for people. Why did things change? 
Why did he have to die at 58? Why? These are questions I probably don't have the answer to. Uncle Dollar, I thought you didn't care about me when I lived with you. I thought you didn't said, me too, I'm tough. I was raised tough. My dad is tough. And he thinks he spoils me still. But man, your death opened my eyes. A king's heart, king's blood, a king. Anything he gave me was usually what he had to give. I miss you, man. When I came to Lagos, I came with a 2004 ML500 Mercedes Benz. I managed to convince my mom to give me her car, even though I knew I was not entitled to it. I always noted a pattern in my life, however, that when I drink this drink called Origin, which has 5% alcohol, I always have car accidents, someone bashed my car, car issues, something like that. Long story short, I crashed my mom's car at 3 a.m. within five days of entering Lagos. I am lucky to be alive, but that car was condemned. I should end. I'm too long. Okay. Anyway, long story short, Uncle Dollar is a king, and you guys must pay compensation. Thank you. Thank you. Um, at this point, we'd like to bring proceedings to a close. Uh, some of us have been here since 11. And as you can appreciate the family, they need to go and be by themselves for a little bit. Um, so Oche and the family, you're free to leave. Um, we just play some music to usher us out. Thanks for coming. Thanks for all the love. I'm sure Dollar would have been so happy. Thank you all, and we'll see you all tomorrow.